So you've got the Nintendo Switch now and you've been playing it, having fun with it for hundreds of hours just like me and you discovered that your characters start to move by itself. So what do you do? Well, selamat sorry. I'm Kenneth and I'm gonna tell you how to clean your joystick and get rid of the problem once and for all. Well, at least until it gets dirty again. Let's get started. So first you will have to prepare these tools ahead. The first one will be a Phillips head screw. This is a 1.5 size Phillips head screw. And the next one will be a tri-point screw with a size of 2.0. Next is a flat head screw with a size of 2.0 or whatever size. You will use it to pry the metal from the joystick later. And last but not least is a pair of tweezers. And if you have a pair of plastic tweezers, that would be better because you don't want to short circuit anything inside the Joy-Con later. And not shown here is you'll need a cotton bud and a drop of alcohol to clean the joystick. First things first, we'll use the tri-point screw to open these four screws on the outer shell. So now you've got all the screws out, you will have to pry this thing out and make sure to pry it by its size like this and then open it, like pull it up here. Now you have this open and you will have to disconnect the power to the battery. So let me get my plastic tweezers and I'll disconnect that thing, the battery connector. See, now the power is off, we can safely proceed through with the metal tweezers. So now we put the battery away. Next, we will disconnect this one, which I think uh, connects to the NFC receiver, like so. And the final one is this one. Uh, see, there is like a gray bar which you will have to pry up very, very gently and like so. So it's up and then this, you can pull it out. Okay, so with all this uh, disconnected, now you can proceed with the Phillips head screw. Disconnect these three screws. And like so, you will be able to disconnect the middle bar. But be careful, oh no, this is gonna fall, you're gonna fall. And be careful of this because there is a small ribbon cable, oh my god. Okay, so you'll need to uh, put it slightly up like that. There you go. And you will need to disconnect this cable over here which I almost tear down already. <laughs> You'll need to disconnect that cable now. There you go. So I've got it up and now I can just pull this out and disconnect the middle part altogether. This <laughs> is kind of annoying. Okay, up next is we will want to get this part out. So we'll have to disconnect this one. And pull it out simple deal see and with your other Phillips head screw we'll disconnect these two uh, we'll unscrew these two screws see see I forgot to take this off um, you'll have to actually do this first before taking off the joystick so just pull it up slightly and you can pull the cable out and put it aside. If you have any attachment like I do, take it out and you can pull this whole thing out. Make sure, be careful of this thing. You will not want to take it apart. How do you do it? Well, from the left side like so okay now we've got the joystick out and now it's time for us to open this thing and clean what's inside get your flat hat screwdriver and you will start prying this this actually on all four sides this one this one 
and also this one here. We'll start by this one. See, just like put it slightly inside and twist it a bit. Let's do it one more time. Put it inside, twist it a little bit, and it will stay open for a bit. And uh, this one is a little bit tricky. Like so. So you twist it up like that. Also this. Well, everything's shaking. There you go. Slightly up, which we'll need to pry everything off later. And this is the hardest one, so we don't need to pry that. We'll just take this off and we'll get it out. Okay. Now we've got it out. Be careful that there is a spring inside. So expect that to jump out. So yeah, I think it's still holding the entire thing. Okay, once you get this part out, you can safely get the entire thing out. And just like that, you just disassemble the Joy-Con. It's very interesting how this works actually. Well, that was disconnected. These are the part that we want to clean. See that little, very, very slight dirt over there? And here and there. That is what makes it drifting. So what are we gonna do is we just get a cotton bud and with very little alcohol drop in there and just wipe it very, very gently like that. You don't wanna put any pressure in it just to clean the dust off and oh well you can see it's a bit dirty down there just to be sure that it's entirely clean and use the other part which is dry dry it over like so and uh, congratulations You've made it this far. Okay, so to reassemble this thing, we'll have to put the spring back like that. We have this button over here, and we want to align it with this button here. And you will want to put this on top of the Joy-Con. And you will want a little bit of help from the flat hat screwdriver. You pry this a little bit. Just to make it slightly elevated and then you can press them together and there you go oops and there you go um, you just put them back in successfully just press the things back together or with a screwdriver well it's good enough <laughs> I broke this one <laughs> so uh, be careful while prying it and uh, everything is back together now time to assemble it and test things out. Okay, so let's now put it back. There you go. Connect this to its place. Um, put it in slightly. Like that. And now lock it in its place. Okay, so now we will want to put the screws back in into these two spots. And one tip here is it's way way better to get a magnetized screwdriver next as you will want to put this be careful with this ribbon cable you put it just like that see that thing aligned with the plastic there and i want to close it very very gently while well, i use my hand very gently like that and next still hold it steady and get the middle part this part is also kind of tricky, so be careful. Just like that. And close it. Nice. Okay. Now you're done here. Up next is you're gonna put the screws onto these three spots here. Well, I actually lost this one, but that doesn't matter. Let's continue. Okay, so uh, 
let's put the so next is the NFC part I'm gonna put it like that just slide it inside its place just like that and then now the other cable of the side joy con just like that and press this very very gently until it locks into its place okay so last you will have to make sure that this is the last thing that you put in because it connects everything with electricity and be careful you don't want to use your metal tweezers with this or else you burn something so uh, I'll use my plastic tweezers put it in just like so press it in its place and you're done see if it's working you'll press a button and the lights will go up okay so to put it back in you'll have to align this one the side one first okay so when you've got the sides aligned you can press the other side and screw them back in Okay, so now we've got our brand new joystick ready to calibrate. Let's go to system settings, go to very button and to controllers and sensors, and then go to calibrate control sticks, press in this stick and see it's very, very responsive and very new right now, but still let's calibrate it. Okay. When it says calibration is complete, you're done. Well, that's it from me for now. Uh, I hope it helped. If it did, please click on the like button. If you have any question, please uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys around. I found a lost crew. Yay.